If you've been struggling with sweep picking, economy picking, all of those kind of sweepish techniques, watch this video. I have something that will help you. I'll meet you right after this. Hello, my name is David. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping you develop your musical personality on the instrument. And in order to truly express yourself, well, you have to have some technique, and there are so many techniques out there, as you know. Today we're focusing on sweeping, which is a cool technique to play fast, kind of a digital type of mechanical thing, although it doesn't just have to be that. But in order to get sweeping, it requires a few steps that some players miss. I don't want you to miss out on these steps. Let's get started. Before we get into the exercise that is going to help your sweeping, we need to define what sweeping is. Sweeping happens across consecutive strings. So you can sweep all six strings across and your pick is going to do just that. It's going to, to brush or sweep across the strings. So it's the same exact movement that happens when you are strumming a chord. Same exact thing with the, the right hand, with the pick. You're kind of brushing off the, the strings and when you're, when you're striking a string, let's say you're striking the sixth string, your pick is, is resting inside. There's more of the pick going into the string so that it can rest on the next string. It's not, it's not uh, going outside of the, the strings, it's really brushing off like that, up or down. So if you can strum a chord, it's very easy to do. Most people have the right hand down. And that brings me into the, the trick, the exercise to perfect your sweeping. Typically, the problem is the left hand. Now, yes, we need both hands to be coordinated, but I find that if we just work on the left hand or if we focus mostly on the left hand, the synchronization is really fairly easy to do. So this is how it happens. Let's work in the key of E major. I'm gonna use this sweepable shape right here. It's an E major triad. My pinky's gonna be on the fifth string, fret number seven, followed by uh, the, the fourth string, fret number six, third string, fret number four, second string, fret number five, first string, fret number four, and then we can add the pinky on fret number seven. That's a very common shape to use in sweeping. This is a major triad in the key of E major. And by the way, that shape and other sweepable shapes in the key of E major, along with this backing track right here, on which all the other shapes are gonna work, is available for download for free. The link's below, sign up once to get access to the assets of this video and many other videos on the channel. It's free. But once we have that shape down, and once we have the right fingers, Fingering is important in sweep, so we have pinky, ring, index, middle, index, and pinky. We're gonna focus on the left hand only. And when I mean left hand only, I really mean it. So the right hand is not gonna do anything. You can mute these if you want, or you can rest it on your lap. It really doesn't matter. We're only going to use our left hand to trigger these notes. Now, I know it sounds like, it's all that crap, it really does. <laughs> that doesn't matter because what we're working on here is accuracy. Every finger should hit the right note. And we're also working on, on the rhythm. Every note should be equal in value. So you can tap if you want whatever tempo you decide. I know that you're probably thinking that this exercise is lame. It's not gonna help. Try it. It really does help, I promise. If you spend maybe three quarters of your time just with the left hand, then you add your right hand, miracles happen. <laughs> they really do. Because typically, the right hand is really good at, at rhythm placement. I, at, uh, you can phrase rhythmically with just a, a ghost note and it'll work great. Um, that's fairly easy to do, right? My right hand is kind of like rhythmically inclined. The left hand, not so much. It's kind of uncoordinated, but doing this without the right hand involved kind of teaches your hand, your left hand to 
to be engaged rhythmically. And it's that rhythm engagement of the left hand that will allow you to have really good synchronization. Once you bring in the right hand to that exercise, great things can happen. You'll find that you're a lot more accurate, a lot more precise, and the notes really come out clean and, and clear. It's not like just what you typically have when you're starting to sweep like that. And by doing this exercise, by cleaning up your sweeping, you'll also notice that you don't have to play as fast as you think you need to play. A lot of the, the, the cool sweep lines that we hear are really not that fast. They're just very synchronized, which gives the listener the uh, impression of, of being very fast. Accuracy is a lot more important in sweeping than the speed itself. And you'll find that speed is very easy to gain if you do this work of really isolating the left hand with whatever shape you're using. And this is the kind of thing you do in front of the TV even without plugging in your, your guitar in. You're just, you know, watching The Simpsons and, and doing that. <laughs> it really does work. Just with the left hand, bringing in the right hand will, um, will be very easy if you focus on that left hand. That's what I have for you today. Try it. I guarantee that the progress you're going to make with your sweeps, if you do that, are going to be phenomenal. You can download the backing track that I was using this lesson and charts for sweepable shapes for free. Again, the link is below. Check that out. And if this is your first visit, well, thank you for watching this video till the end. You should consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos. Again, it's free. The link is below. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And if you want to stick around, I would love that. There's a video here for you to, to watch. Check it out or, or here too. Whatever you want to do, I hope you stick around. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.